freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hey guys, just before this video starts, just wanna let you know that it's massive, it's so big in fact, that I had two options. I could either split it into two different parts or I could remove clips completely so that they're, basically the video was only 40 minutes, 45 minutes, give or take, which means there's loads of footage you wouldn't have seen. So I've decided to take it um, into two different parts. So basically this is part one and then part two will be released in a, uh, in a few days time. Just to give you uh a bit of a sneak peek. So this is the video that you're gonna be watching today. Uh, maybe I might add a bit of extra on, but we're at sort of uh, 37 minutes left. And we've still got <laughs> all of this as well. So yes, it's gonna be two parts. Hopefully you understand. So um, I'll stop talking now and I will let the video resume. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoy. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. We've got bells going off already, look. <laughs> um, hopefully you are well. We are just leaving Peterhead where we finished our last video. My seat needs to go up a little bit, it's a bit low. So yeah, we're just leaving the docks where we just tipped our, um, our load of, I think it was like just empty cases for the fish or something. So yeah, empty cases. Anyway, today's video. So we're right now on our way to a yarm, Ian, Ian Colkirk or something, uh, to pick up some potatoes. I wonder how many times in this video I'm gonna say potato. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna pick up some potatoes and that's gotta go all the way to Pembroke. And from where we are now, it's 580 miles, which is like 950, 970 kilometers, something like that. So nearly a thousand kilometers uh, away from where we are right now. It is going to take us at least a day and a half to get down there um, because we've already done, by the time we get loaded with the potatoes, we, <laughs> we're going to be on like two and a half hours driving already before we get the potatoes. And I'm pretty sure, and I'll, we'll find out when we actually go uh, and get loaded, but I'm pretty sure from where we are getting loaded, it's going to be at least 11 hours driving just to get down to Pembroke, I think. And of course, we can only do 10 hours driving in, in a single day, but I would have done two and a half already today. So we're gonna, whatever happens, we are gonna be at the very least two, three hours away from our delivery point when we park up. So it's gonna be a case of more than likely having a minimum rest, nine hours rest and cracking on in the morning, I suspect. Um, but yeah, we're going to see. It could be four hours. It could even be five hours. We don't know until I get the destination to sat nav, see how far we can actually get down because that's the other thing. Road conditions are pretty poor. This morning, when I woke up from Aberdeen, I could barely get onto the A90 because the road was so slippery, the slip road to get on. I could barely get on. It was very icy around Aberdeen. It's fine where we are now in Peterborough. No, not Peterborough. Mm, P Peterhead. I keep wanting to say Peterborough. Um, but like, Aberdeen area was very slippery. The B road that we've got to go on to get to this farm could be very slippery. And it could be accidents. Well, there were accidents this morning. There was cars facing the wrong way on Dork Hardway. So we could get caught up in a lot of accidents going down as well, back down south. So nothing is a certainty, do you know what I mean? So we just, we just do what we can basically. If we can get as far down as we can today, then that's all we can do, in it? So that's, that's the aim for today, to get down as far as we can. Um, but yeah, I wanted to start this video from where we just tipped so that there is literally, there is no, there is no pause kind of between the last two videos other than 30 seconds uh, between ending the last one and starting this one. So if you're watching this one after the last video, it's almost like almost the same vlog in a way, but just in a different video. So yes, this video is about making our way back down south to Pembroke 
and uh, we're basically just gonna gonna see how far we can get down really oh i've got um you might have seen i don't know just now but i've got like uh, a load of ratchet straps <laughs> in there I'm hoping when we get loaded with the potatoes that we can, um, I'm not going to say the high pitch one anymore, do my head I'm hoping we can put it back into the trailer. I had to put it into the cab yesterday, um, or the day before yesterday, because, um, was it yesterday? I'm, getting, I'm losing track of time. Yesterday, because the load I just delivered was what we call a positive fit. It's literally front to back, bottom to, 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 to roof. It's like fully packed trailer. Couldn't get anything else in there. So all the crates had to come into the into the cab out the way so i'm hoping when we get loaded with the potatoes later we can put them back in the trailer out the way it gives me a bit more space to put stuff around that's what i'm hoping that's what i'm hoping anyway there's the sea look it's all gone now you won't be able to see it anymore so we're going to crack on to our destination i'll see when we're a little bit closer it is going to be it's b roads and i think single track ish so um yeah hopefully the roads have been gritted always it could be fun i'll see you when we're there now we are still quite far away. We're still 23 miles, 40 minutes away. Um, but as requested by the company we're doing this work for, they said, call the customer when you're on your way. So I've done that. I've called the customer to tell them, <laughs> to tell them I'm on my way. And um, yeah, he said the roads are rubbish around here. <laughs> I said, what do you mean rubbish? Define rubbish. He goes, they're just really bad. I said, are you telling me I won't be able to get to you? He goes, ah, he goes, I don't know. Just, you'd have to try. So, so I said, you're filling me with confidence, mate. <laughs> um, he didn't seem very happy, to be honest. He, sat, he seemed a bit grumpy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I phoned the boss up and see, just to ask, you know, shall I go this way anyway and I'm going in or shall I take an alternative longer route, but on more of a main road? And he said, just continue with, uh, with this route that I've got planned because this is an A road the whole way is A road roads like this um, except for the last mile and a half which is a B road and I would imagine it's the last mile and a half which is bad that's what I can imagine yeah and I think it's single track lanes as well good news is it's raining that's good rain will melt the ice so I want it to keep raining over the next 40 minutes and hopefully it's raining there as well um yeah, hopefully it can melt that bloody ice away. And it's two degrees Celsius, so it's not even freezing. Do you know what I mean? It's not like minus two, it's just two. So the ice should be melting anyway without the rain, and the rain should help. That's, that's what I'm telling myself. But uh, it could be interesting when we get a little bit closer. Right, these roads that I've just been on are a little bit bad. <laughs> Definitely got to go slow. We're sliding a little bit, and we're empty as well. Um, I think I think it's good Is that road better? Yeah, I think the next road is about to be better We're still on A roads um, But this particular A road was uh, was not great Oh, stop, stop <laughs> I would normally go But I don't know if I'm going to spin on the way out So I don't want to get in the way of that van coming along There's more traffic coming as well make it they're they're turning left we can make it so yeah the roads are slowly getting worse the temperatures dropped as well as 0.5 degrees so um yeah it's close it's close to freezing now the rain has stopped so yeah i can't see ice really melting much where i am right now we're still 20 minutes away 13 miles the roads could get worse, they could get better. But he did say they were pretty bad, so... We'll just have to wait and see. Ha! Ah. But I like driving in these road conditions. As weird as it sounds, I do enjoy driving in these conditions. Anyway, let's crack on, see how far we can get. Okay, we are on the home straight. Some smashed up car down there, bloody hell. <laughs> nice sign. Um, we are taking it steady because the roads aren't great and this is an A road so yeah I think it is going to be quite slippery when we turn off we're on this road for another two and a half miles Ooh, just concentrating then 
yeah, two and a half miles we're on this road for, and then a mile and a half on unnamed roads. I have a suspicion it's going to be the unnamed road that we potentially get stuck on. Hopefully not though. Oh, we've got a tractor up ahead, I think, with flashing lights. Yeah. Oh, the wind's picking up. That's bloody windy, man. Bloody windy. That wind is very blowy. Very cautious of the dip on the left. Don't want to go in the dip. I'd rather get stuck on a bit of snow than ditch it. Fun. <laughs> Distant sensor dirty. Yeah, I suspect it's probably the snow on it. Okay, so this is this is probably why he said it's the roads aren't great. The last three miles there, look. Let's see what we can do. Apologies if I'm quiet, I just, I'm concentrating, but also I'm gonna keep recording so you guys can see as well. Okay, it's proper, proper wise out here now, look. There's another tractor coming down our way. Probably say you need some lights on, mate, to be honest. Mind you, <laughs> it might be pulling me out in a minute, you never know. Whoa, that was slippery there. We are in the middle of the road, just, yeah, it's quite slippery. Doesn't help with the wind. Okay, we're turning in 800 yards. Six hundred yards. Four hundred yards. Start indicating. We are going nice and slow. Holy crap. It's the only way in. We might get stuck up this hill. Come on. We'll be stuck. There's a ditch to the left. Okay, we need to go back. Very spot. <laughs> Gonna swear then very slowly.
Let's go back. We're going to try and get another run up in first gear so it doesn't change gear. Diff lock on. We're going to try a few different things. Do have a car behind me as well. I'm going to have to have my seatbelt off. There's a van behind me. Just gonna wave them through. See if we can get up. We'll be able to get out if we have to. Alright, we're going to try getting up and... Whoa! Couldn't even move here. I don't like how close that ditch is to my left. I don't think I'm going to get up here. changing gear. We're not making it up yet. Back in reverse, back down again. For some reason the truck come out of automatic we are spinning got our traction control off or is it just loses all power come on come on go Come on. I've got to stop because we're starting to spin. Like, the back end's starting to kick out. If we didn't stop there, then we wouldn't have enough room to go back down. Right. Bloody ditch. We are not having much luck. Got another car behind me again now. Okay, so we are stuck. We are there. We, uh, we can move just about here, but as soon as we start going up that hill, we spin out and we can't go anywhere. So uh, we're stuck. <laughs> I phoned the guy up we're collecting from because it's only a mile, a mile or so up the road. He's gonna bring a tractor down. 
and see if you can pull me up. So my next step is to get a tow and eye out, get the tow and eye set up ready. Okay, that's the tow and eye in. As tight as I can do it by hand anyway. So next thing you should do is grab a pole, whack it in there and really give it a good push and a tug. To really make sure it's as tight as it can go. Whew. Right. Hopefully that toe and I will pull us out. Ain't it bad though that like such a small hill like that can bring a truck to a stop. Madness. Yeah, so I've just gone up the hill thinking uh, make it easier for the tractor. Well, I may have just got slightly too close to the edge now and uh, there might be an issue. That back wheel is very close. It doesn't look it, but it is very close to the edge. So I'm now slightly worried. But we're, we're sort of at the top of the hill almost. It's just the last little bit. Oh, we're also in a dip down here, look. So it's not going well. At least cars can get past. Yeah, we've got problems. We are nearly in the ditch. Good news is, tractor has arrived. So hopefully we can get, get pulled out. Right. Let's see if this tractor can pull me out. We're on four lock right. Oh my God. Right, we're slowly making it. Ooh. We're on four lock right, but we're still going left. There we go. Oh, we're moving. Oh, that was easy. All we need is a tractor. <laughs> uh, he did say it's relatively flat now from, uh, from now on, but I don't know when exactly he wants to stop. Even on the slate, slightest gradient or slip, even if it's completely level, if there's ice, uh, just, uh, the wheels would just spin. There's zero traction in trucks. It's horrendous. Um, yeah, just the way it is. Well, we've wasted loads of time today. We've been been stuck, which didn't help. And then obviously it took ages to get tipped earlier as well. Just uh, not been the best of days. Entertaining, mind. Take me home, country roads, to the place where I belong. West Virginia, track to mama. Take me home, country roads. Yeah, luckily he's got a tow-in rope as well, look. Otherwise we would have just had to use a strap. Um, but I put my tow-in eye in ready to go, so that was good. I don't know how far up he's taken me. We're still a mile and a half away. Right, I think we're taking it off. Where do you want it, mate? Just on here? No, I'm just in the car. Yeah. Keep pulling me up the road. If you can go yeah. into the yard, go in head fast. It's a wee bit slope here, and we build the bags and we fold together a bit better in the lorry. Like. Yeah, all right, so drive in. All right, okay. Will do, mate.
Right. <coughs> Hopefully we can set off again. <laughs> we're spinning, but we're going to get going. Diff lock off. Yeah, so we, we, are, we are still spinning. <laughs> what a road. Let's do that passenger window up now. Seatbelt's off because I might need to do a manoeuvre and check stuff, so that's why my seatbelt's off. In fact, actually, I will put it on in case I crash. He's going a lot faster than I'm willing to go. Like I said, the back end of the truck would just kick out and I can jackknife so easy. That's what it was trying to do up the hill, just trying to jackknife. If I didn't stop when I did, I would have been stuck. So, but then again, if I just stayed at the bottom, I wouldn't have got stuck in the first place. I was just trying to make it easier for the tractor not to pull me up the hill. Okay, so it's just that big one up there. There's a tractor coming. Is that one or is that one further up? I think it's one further up. Hopefully that tractor's, yeah, the tractor's staying there by the looks of it. Just double checking it is, yeah, it's staying. We want to try and keep momentum as much as possible. Oh, we've got some more eels here, mate. Up ahead. Oh, we're stopping before the eels by the looks of it. Right, he said driving. I was going to reverse in, but for some reason he said driving. Woo! Went a bit sideways then. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm looking at the view and I really should be concentrating on the driving. Got to try and get back out yet. It's going to be fun just trying to get out. And turn right into here. Down a bit of a slope, he said. I don't know where he wants me. Like how far over, I mean. Yeah, thumbs up, that's good. Lovely. I'm gonna assume he's loading me from one side, but I can obviously strap up from both sides. Right, we're here. <laughs> Let's go get loaded. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we're loaded. Just to give you an example of what it is we're taking, is these sort of bags. I was just about to do the curtains up before, I'll just quickly show you. So, these massive bolt bags, and then on the back end I've just crisscrossed it. So there's one, one orange one going around that way, go around the other side, and uh, we will see another one here as well. So yeah, just got to strap up now, oh, strap up, do the curtains up, and then we can crack on. What a day. That's some paperwork for tomorrow. Let me just go there for a sec. Back up there. That needs to go there as well, but it can wait. Right, this is the interesting bit. I wonder how long it takes for actually to get there. <laughs> cool, so if I left right now, which I will be, 638 miles to get there at quarter to two tonight. <laughs> in the morning, well, in the morning. It is 
see, 13 hour drive. <laughs> it's 13 hour drive. Uh, obviously, obviously not going to do that all today. You will arrive at your destination at 1.45. <laughs> Yeah, nice little 13 hour drive. Right, that can come off. Just want to double check which way it's taking me out. Ah, lovely, lovely, lovely. So we're going to the bottom of that hill and then we're turning right, whereas we come from the other side last time. Um, right, next challenge. Get out of this junction. I've got reverse out, blind side. With no help. That is the next challenge. I'm actually stuck. Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> My God. Let's try some weight transfer. You're actually having a laugh. See if I can find another smooth bit to go on. Right, that's it. Now we're good. now pointing backwards, so get a bit of a run up. There we go. <laughs> what a joke. Of course, the issue we got is we don't really want to stop, but also we kind of have to because it's a busy road. Angle too tight. I've got to move my mirror in, it's not, it's not in the right place. That's better. Right, let's crawl out. I do. Only go as far as you ever need to. Literally no point in pushing your luck. <laughs> okay. Right. We're out of here. The sun is bright. Turn the hazards off. Could do with my glasses on. Of course, now we weigh a little bit more, so sometimes that can help getting up hills. Sometimes it can hinder, but my God, does it not help slowing down anyway. <laughs> so we've got to go extra slow down the hill, that's for sure. That's for sure. But yeah, we're 13 hours away and uh, wow, we've done nearly three hours now, so yeah. We're going to be there midday tomorrow, probably, I expect. We're aiming for lunchtime tomorrow anyway. Uh, I won't know until we get closer. I'll, I'll work it out once we get closer. There's no point really working out now. I need to do four and a half hours driving, then stop for a break, and then we can work out where we're going to stop, how long, how far away we're going to be, stuff like that. I was thinking I might call the customer up now and ask for directions, but there's no point. I'm not getting there until tomorrow lunchtime, so I'll call them up tomorrow morning, probably, and go from there. Right, nothing coming from the right. Nothing coming from the right. Don't want to stop too much. Come on. We're spinning, we're spinning. As long as you get out of this hill, I think we'll be okay.
Yeah. Turn those beacons off. I think this is officially the longest drive from collection to delivery, 13 hours. That is the longest I've ever done. 638 miles, so 640 miles, let's say. That is mega. Hopefully now the sun's out, the, ooh, the ice will have mounted a little bit, hopefully. I think the only issue we're going to have is going down the hill if there's any other vehicles coming, and then maybe turning right off the junction could be an issue. Other than that, I think we'll be okay. and keep momentum to get up this little bit of hill but also not too fast in case we need to stop it's all good yeah look at all this slush now it's definitely mounting yeah i think we're good I think we're good. This is the slope coming up now. The one we got stuck on. I do want to go slow down here just in case. It's all clear, so that's good. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see where I got stuck in there, look. There we go, just there. Man. <laughs> right, like I said, the only other issue is potentially getting out of this junction. The wheels could spin. So I need to try and time it and try and get out in one go, really. It's clear to the right. Can't see left now, that's the problem. I think we'll be good. Still clear to the right, definitely clear to the right. Clear to the left, yeah. We can just keep going, keep rolling. There we go, we should be good now. The roads are main A roads from now on, so should be good. But man, that was, uh, that was interesting. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Right, I'm gonna crack on. Unless anything else interesting is about to happen, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll turn the cameras back on. But hopefully, whew, hopefully that's it now. So I'll see you in four and a half hours time. No idea where I'm gonna be. I really don't know, I'm just going to drive. I need to get fuel at some point as well, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so that is it for this video. Unfortunately, like I said at the start, it's too long to put it all into one video, so I've split it into two. Part one is now finished. Part two is going to be released in just a few days' time. Um, so as it stands, we are loaded with the potatoes, and we're just leaving um, near Aberdeen is where we were. And the next video, which will be released in a few days' time, will be the journey down south delivering it into Pembroke in Wales. And oh my God, it was so tight getting into that farm in Pembroke. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. it is, it's pretty interesting. There was a car in the way and all sorts. It was a little bit of drama, a little bit of drama. <laughs> but that is it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I look forward to sharing the next video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.